it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke, and today we are going to talk about the divisional round of the NFL playoff. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. We already had the wild card round, and last week I did a video with Mr. Chris Dufour, who was five and one in his picks, and I was four and two. It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. And uh, we have Dave Mazzini with us this week as well, and he was at least one and zero oh because he predicted that Dallas would lose to San Francisco. So we will do our picks for this week, and we will also do a little bit of discussion about last week's games, of which two or three of them were garbage games anyway and uh, weren't very competitive. So, and then we had the, uh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then, the, the, of course, the Patriots-Bills game was terrible. The Bills scored on every possession that they had, and uh, let's say the Patriots didn't. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that coming. I, the Bill, I, the Bills, I thought would destroy them, and they did. If the Bills figured them out late in the year, and it was just more of the same. Yeah, New England has really no weapons on offense. Kendrick Bourne. All right. Kendrick Bourne was the only guy on the Patriots showed up so yeah uh, well i mean the eagles laid an egg you know they yeah. were down 31 nothing yeah the uh patriots laid the aforementioned egg the cardinals laid an egg pittsburgh it's, laid an egg it, well, well we no pittsburgh no it's not i mean they did end up leave, you know but they they played the first quarter was zero zero so yeah wasn't yeah. over by the time people were no one was surprised at the outcome, though. I mean, and I, I'm kind of I, as much as I like Mahomes, I was rooting for the Steelers. I love Mike Tomlin. You know, I wish yeah. he, he team that I that I like, but that's that's not going to happen. All right. Or, he so says it. the chef, the maker of the soup. That's hey, that's fine. It's fine with me. Well, All right. So you got Saturday, about. Saturday, the twenty second of January. Hold on a second. Now, wait a second before we do this. We didn't even talk about the 49ers-Cowboys game. Well, it, we barely mentioned it, other than, you know, the fact that the Cowboys didn't show the lead. And Bob can uh, verify this all week. I said Shanahan's going to run the ball down their throats. They're going to use Debo Samuel. Everyone knew this, except McCarthy and Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore. You knew exactly what the 49ers were going to do. And you knew as talented as Dallas was, they weren't going to stop it. You knew Dallas was going to give up on the run, which they did. Zeke, they, they forgot they had a guy named Tony Pollard on the team who is a better, faster runner. He's not good in the passing game as far as blocking, but he's more dangerous than Zeke Elliott is if you watch Dallas this year. And, uh, and Dak Prescott had happy feet and couldn't hit an open receiver. He missed. He was throwing – to guys, that interception, he had two guys that were on the sidelines that were open, didn't throw to them. He pit, he played a horrible game. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. And the fact that we talk about how bad they are and they still had a chance to win is ridiculous because that's how bad the 49ers played in the fourth quarter. They were, they were basically opening the door for the Cowboys to win that game. But and they didn't have Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, and an, uh, who's the other guy that got injured? Like, 54 the, got hurt at the end, yeah. Warner and Nick Bosa didn't play more than half the game. Like, like, like but again, it goes back. Like, Shanahan, like, I knew Shanahan was going to do He outcoached those guys. And they, they did nothing. Nothing. Like, they, 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 Dallas, like, quickly abandons the run. And that's a Mike McCarthy team. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, I think he's a. He's a coach that has has thrown more than any other coach. Is, instead of like, yeah, I think Andy Reid probably got used to that with Rodgers bailing him out all the time. 
Andy Reid is there too, but at least Andy Reid's won something. All right. All right. Let's move on. Bengals. Bengals Raiders. That was yes, we got a Saturday, 122 at 430. We've got the – wait, the Bengals are against the Titans. That's what's going on there. And here is the game. Let me get these two in the in the scenery here. Are you going to chuck one of those? I am not going to chuck one of them. Today, yeah, they're all good teams now. Now we're talking about all good teams, so we're not chucking anybody. Right. One of these teams right. is going to oh. – so anyway, um, yeah, you got the Bengals visiting the Titans. Now, I personally would love to see the Bengals win, but I don't think they're going to. Why? I wish they would, but I, just, I think they're outclassed by Tennessee. However, that is considering uh, when Tennessee plays Tennessee football. When they play well and they prepare well, I don't think that the Bengals can beat them. So when they, they play, play like they did against they the lose. Jets or against the Titans twice, then the that Bengals play. might beat them. You mean the Texans? Or the Texans, yeah. Right. The um so you're who are you picking? Or you want us to go? I'm I'm taking I'm taking Tennessee. Say what? All right. I I want to take the Bengals, but uh, they had a big injury that Larry, I'm going to butcher his name, Ogan Joby or something, he, their tackle, he's out, I guess. So if they can't, if they stop the run, I think the Bengals will win this game. Uh, I think you got Henry coming back, right, Doof? Yeah, he's going to play. He's going to play. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's 100, percent but if they can, if they can keep the running game, maybe under. 120 yards, I think the and because Joe Burrow is a stud, man. That guy's unflappable. Um, unlike Dak Prescott, yeah. He's, I love his nicknames: Joe Cool, Joe Thorough. Like it, like you Who's can the tell. First Joe Cool. Who was the first Joe Cool? Snoopy. Judd. Did you say Snoopy? He did. He, he's Bob's right. <laughs> Joe Cool, Joe Montana. Come on. The, um, so Joe Burrow, I think, and then the, the weapons they got, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, uh, Boyd's good. I like their tight end. Uh, Mixon's good. They got a lot more weapons than Tennessee. I'm going to probably lean – I'm going to – just because I want to see them win, but I think they got more talent, less experience. I'm going to say the, the Bengals are going to win this, though, especially if Burrow gets hot. Forget it. Yeah, I'm going to go Bengals, too. All right. You're I like going the Bengals. Bengals. All right. I like the Bengals in this one, I, and I think it's just uh, – like I think it's Joe Burrow's time, as, as Dave alluded to. I think it's his time. I think he's going to do a, a Joe Montana-type thing 40 years after Joe Montana did it. All right. Uh, third, year. third year for Joe Montana. Now, at 8.15 on Saturday, we have uh, the – 49ers are going to Green Bay and taking on the Packers. And yeah. as, as good as the 49ers looked against Dallas and as good as they looked against Green Bay two years ago in the playoffs, I am still going to go with Green Bay in this game uh, because they, I think that the, uh, the Packers have – a high-powered offense that, although San Francisco does have a uh, punishing defense, I don't think they're going to be able to stop that Green Bay offense. And this is not the Green Bay defense of two years ago that got run on and run up and down the field on by the uh, 49ers. So I'm going with Green Bay. I'm going to agree with and Z. I think the Niners are giving them a good game, and I think they will run the ball. But their their corners on the outside, like especially with Aaron Rodgers, like I think he's going to carve them up. Um, especially if they protect Rodgers, and the Packers are never out of a game. So even I mean, even if the Niners are winning that game in the third quarter, and the Packers are even close, I still like Rodgers. Um, but again, wouldn't be surprised if the, the the Niners essentially got the same team they took to the Super Bowl, 
Um, except Debo Samuel, I think, is probably twice as good as he was. So um, but I'm going to take the, the the Green Bay in, the, in a close one. Yeah, I think the Packers are, are going to win, too. All right. Uh, I don't think uh, – it's not quite Steelers-Chiefs, but uh, I think it's going to be harder for the 49ers to score this week. Uh, they they struggled mightily even against the Cowboys uh, yeah, after a hot start. And then their defense – I'm worried about the 49ers' defense because even if everyone was healthy, yeah. they'd have a tremendously difficult time stopping Rodgers and uh, company, especially if they can establish the run. And uh, I, and I don't think some of those guys are going to be back for this game, and that's going to that's gonna give the Packers uh, even more opportunity to carve them up, as Dave said. So I'm, I'm going to go Pack. It's a short week, too, and if Bosa can't play, and if that if Warner can't play. Yeah, it's, that's two big players. Yeah. All right, so that moves us to Sunday, and the 3 p.m. game will be, it's looking increasingly like, the Rams playing the Buccaneers. And uh, who wants to lead us out on that one? Maz. Ooh, that's a tough – I mean, man, the Buccaneers just riddled with it. They're, what, they're, they're, they might miss their left tackle, who's a yeah. whole world. Well, their center got injured, but I think he's okay. Uh, Fournette, I think uh, the only the only weapons they got are Gronk and Evans. But that it, again, it's, it doesn't seem to matter. Like Brady just can roll out. He can roll out the third team with him. And I mean, they did play the Eagles, and yeah. them going against the Rams is another thing. But again, the Rams are don't have anyone playing safety, so. This is a tough one. I want to go Rams, uh, but if I, I get, if it's Stafford versus Brady, I got I got to I got to lean towards Brady. So I could take the Bucks in that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a you know I I, I last uh, on the last show we did, Bobby. I said that I think the Bucks are going to lose somewhere down the line. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It, this could it, be it. I, I mean, it's it would be hilarious, not hilarious, but it would be it would be funny to see the Rams win this game. But they're playing they're playing at a a, a good level, uh, and the Bucks are very banged up. And I don't think that Brady carving up the Eagles with a banged up team is going to be the same as going against the Rams defense, even they don't have anyone at safety. I mean, you know, Gronk and Evans, I mean, and then they got to, you know, they, but, they, you know, the great thing about the Bucks is they got Scotty Miller, who's a great slot guy. So, I mean, yeah, they're begged up and Godwin's out, but Scotty Miller has proven himself. He had a huge touchdown in last last year's NFC Championship game. Had did a big game against the Packers. So, Did he play yesterday? He played last week, yeah. Or was it yesterday? I can't, yeah, so soon. Uh, yeah, he did play a little bit. Uh, well, they, they had him on a big uh, – well, not a big because nothing was big in that game. But, yeah, he was on late. So, I don't know. We'll see. I I, I mean, I gosh, that's such a – I like the way the Rams are playing now. And, and, gosh, but it's hard to bet on Stafford two weeks in a row. I think that's the real problem with the Rams is which Matthew Stafford is going to show up. And then in crunch time, when they need him, is he going to – is he going to – throw that pick like he did against the Niners two weeks ago, you know. Uh, yeah. That cost him a game in OT. So I'm yeah. going to go Bucks. I don't think this, you know, I, I think they, I don't, yeah, I'm going to go Bucks. I, it's going to be a great, I hope it's going to be a good game, and I think it will be. I mean, right now, just, you know, you're looking at the Rams tonight, they're, they're, they're at a place where they're playing very high level on both sides of the ball, so. But going into Tampa and beating beating a Brady led team is going to be difficult. All right. Well, I am going with LA because of the weapon. Going with the Rams. Yeah. Because of the way they're playing. And because I am buying into what you said last week 
that somewhere down the line, this Buccaneers team is, is going to be eliminated. I think they, I think you're right. I think they will. I don't think that they're quite uh, up to the level that they were uh, last year. And uh, I think they're, that, uh, LA, certainly if they play like they did tonight, they'll, they'll beat the Buccaneers. Well, they should win the game. They should, but it's hard to bet against Brady. Like the Rams have yeah. all, and the Bucks are, you know, riddled with injuries. But again, it goes back to, I mean, it's hard to bet against Tom Brady. All right. So that brings us to last game of the weekend, 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. Here it is. This is going to possibly be the game of the week, the yeah. Bills and the Chiefs. And, uh, Duke, why don't you take us out on that one? Is that going to be uh, – that's in KC, right? It's in KC, yeah. KC was the two, right? So it's 3-2? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, what a great game that should be. It should I, hope, be I really hope the Bills show up like they showed up against the Patriots because that will be just such a fun game to watch on a last game on a Sunday night. That will be a, a good way to end the weekend. Uh, man, that's tough. Whew, being on the road, and they, they lost to KC last year in the championship, wasn't it? In the AFC championship, wasn't that the – wasn't Bills at Chiefs? Yeah. Yeah, so. They were in early, and I think they settled for some field goals, and the Chief, it, and then it just got too much. But they beat the Chiefs handily this year. Yeah, no, I know, and that's the thing. I'm, I'm going to take Buffalo. I, I just uh, – you know, the Chiefs are playing really well, so – that's a tough one because – and they're home. And, like, you know, they can score so quickly like they proved last night. And like I even said last week, you know, it's just – but this is not going to be – I mean, right now, thinking about it, it's, it's going to be like a a two-hour, three-hour sprint. You know, it's going to be high gun, what defense can make a play, you know. And obviously this kind of game, I think turnovers will be a key. I don't know. That's it. That's going to be – that's toss-up to me. I don't know what would make a difference to me. I, I both kickers are good. I mean, yeah. I feel like Bill's defense uh, is got a chip on their shoulder, and they're a better defense the whole year than we take. They're the definitely a, a bit, a little bit better. But I mean, the Kansas City defense over the last eight weeks of the season for has played pretty yeah, well. They, they have. But I feel like the Bills have playmakers on defense. Like, their safeties are unreal. You can see, like, like if they just listen to that Jerry Hughes after the game. Like, he's got a – they got, like, a chip on their shoulder, like the, that defense does. And they're running – I also the like the way McDermott's co – it's, it's McDermott, right? Yeah. For the Bills. I like yeah, the way he's coaching the whole staff right now. They seem to have upped their game after that game that Bob likes to hang his hat on to Belichick for a run – Four pass game. I think they just went back and yeah, he was pretty salty look. after that game because everybody they was were, saying that Belichick out out coached him and that Belichick's a genius and and he he took offense to that. <laughs> well, whatever he did, he upped his game. I think you know you know in some ways or maybe some maybe they just took another look at things. But they've been at a little bit different level since then. Yeah, good coaches learn from mistakes, right. like Mike McCarthy. So you. Know. There you go. Yeah, McDermott. Like the, everyone's the, the good coaching. They're playing and they're running the ball better. Um, like yeah, I mean, Devin. Uh, Devin is it Singletary? Devin Singletary. He's running the ball really well. If yeah. they can run, because I think Allen almost sets up the run for them. Unlike other teams, so he once once he gets some scrambles going, the passing game gets going. It kind of softens up other teams and then the team, the defense, and then I think Singletary gets going. But if they get – if they're running early and, and taking an extra possession away from the Chiefs, that's just going to hurt the Chiefs more because I, I do favor the Bills' D over the Chiefs' D as far as, like, maybe creating a turnover, um, holding Mahomes. They, like, they did a good job of that this year. They, like, they didn't let Tariq Hill get behind them. So – I, 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 you know, do feel you're still supposed to be going, right? I cut you off, but yeah, I think oh, not at all. No, this is no, a no, he, well, my man. You talk when you want to talk. 
he went uh, he went with Buffalo. So who do you think? Oh, yeah. I'm going Buffalo too. I mean, I want. I it, it hurts me to say it because it's hard to root for them, <laughs> but you know, I think they're they're playing they're playing lights out right now. Not that Casey isn't, but I don't know. I think they're taking a, the some things personal, and like Duke said, they're coaching really well too, which is that's a big difference in the playoffs. So huge can make a big difference. Yeah, they're well, coaching. Uh, I'm going to make it a clean sweep on this, and I'm going to go with Buffalo. We're, we're all doomed to lose this one, then. Yeah, we're all losing. No. It's exactly what Casey wanted to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to be watching this every day now. Do you see what? <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> all right, so that's it. Is that going to work? But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. That's all I want to say, except if you're watching this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what your picks are. Do you agree with the panel or who on the panel when there was a difference of opinion, which happened in all but the Buffalo-Kansas City game? Let's hear about what people think about Bob's Chicago Bears hat, too. What's that all about? Very fashionable. And I'm in and if you bar. want Dave Mazzini's chicken, chicken soup recipe, also you can comment on that. <laughs> but otherwise, that will be it for me. Sportsman Z with Chris Dufour and Dave Mazzini signing off. Peace.